Ball back, scored again, and then, uh, now we're down fourteen zero. So that's that's tough, uh, especially in the triple option offense. Like that's that's really hard to uh, put points on the board that quick. So it, we shot ourselves in the foot today on on little things, and we could all played better, uh, including myself. I uh, made some mistakes and uh, wish we could get it back, but the reality of it is, is it's over. We got to put it past us and move forward. Connor, go to Zoom. Hey, Charles. Uh, good evening, Isaiah. Uh, you know, a total yards uh, disparity wasn't as bad as the score indicated, whereby Wake Forest had 488 uh, to your 407. What was the biggest challenge this evening in, in not being able to get the ball into the end zone? Just little things, little to, to little details, uh, making mistakes, um, missed assignments, uh, poor fundamentals. That 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 kill a kill a, a drive, especially going against a team uh, their caliber. Um, just there, there's a little, there's not that much room for error when we're playing teams like this. So every little chance we get, we got to punch it in the box and and keep playing. Uh, but sometimes we 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 got stopped and. We had to punt the ball away and get the ball back to Wake Forest, and they made plays. So. Great. And my follow-up and final question: uh, total difference in in terms of the the score last year uh, versus uh, this evening. Uh, you guys really put up the numbers last year. Is there anything that you can sense or or that you saw that was different in terms of their defense uh, this evening versus uh, last year, Mikey? Not necessarily. Um, we just didn't execute our basis, uh, our, our base plays, and uh, just didn't. We we didn't execute as an offense. Um, so, well, as a team total, uh, we, all of us, we just didn't execute our our, our base fundamentals and, and our base assignments. So we, we shot ourselves in the foot today. So, all right. Thank you very much. Yeah, we'll go to Ken Kreitzer. Hi, Ken Kreitzer, Canvets Media. Uh, Good to see you, Isaiah. First, take us through, I don't know if you were on the field or not, but when Army went for the first down on fourth and one at their own 11, on the, I think it's on the uh, uh, second drive, well, were you on the field without, and that was kind of remarkable, uh, that play. I do not recall, uh, <laughs> to be honest, sir. Um, I, I, I have, I have. Okay. I <laughs> okay. Um, just, uh, I guess Charles is asking, why, what was different in the Wake Forest defense this year versus last year? Me personally, I didn't see much different. Uh, they had the same guys that came back, um, seeing the same, well, similar looks. Um, but I just feel like we, we just didn't execute and we, we could have played better. Uh, we, we I just asked you about the, uh, you know, when Jamel uh, went in in the, in the third quarter, you uh, had a couple of big pass completions. You got the touchdown pass. Um, just tell us a little bit about uh, about that part of the game when you, you had those, you got that touchdown. Well, Jamel came in the game. He was prepared. And I, I knew he was going to be prepared. Uh, he, just the way he works every day uh, coming into practice. He, he's just been prepared. And he came in the game and just made some, some great throws. And um, it was, I just had to make a play. Um, on the on the touchdown one, so thanks, Isaiah. Go to Ken McMillan. Hey, Ken McMillan from the record. Um, you guys are human. You guys are, you know, battle tough. How much did it, did it weigh heavy when you guys were blanked in the first half last week, and then you had the same fate this week? Um, I didn't. I, honestly, I didn't realize that until you just said that. Um, yes, it hurts. Uh, we're going in the locker room and we, we got to make some changes and just play better. Honestly, it all boils down to players have to make the plays and uh, we didn't do that in the first half. And um, I'm proud of my guys. We, we, we turned it around in the second half and, and tried to execute a little bit better. But uh, at the end of the day, we got to make plays. I'm sure Coach Munkin is going to tell us, you know, in a few minutes um, that it might come down to blocking and fundamentals once again. Uh, I think he said that after the game, you know, at, at this stage of the season, how concerning is that, that you guys haven't mastered these aspects on a consistent basis? Because as you said, you're making some progress, but it's a razor thin margin of error. 
It is. Um, all we can do now is just look forward uh, to our next opponent. We got Colgate, and uh, we have to focus on Colgate this week, uh, practice the, the fundamentals and, and execute them well, execute on Saturday, next Saturday, and, and come up with a win. Last thing, uh, can you just talk about trying to dig out of a one and four hole? Like I said, uh, we just got to come to practice tomorrow, uh, execute, just keep fighting. I know everybody in the locker room that I know all of them are some fighters. Um, nobody's going to tuck their tail. Uh, they're just going to keep working, come come to work every day and just keep fighting. Mm -hmm. So I have to do the same too and uh, yeah, just keep fighting. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Isaiah. That's it for Isaiah. Thank you.